Um, the best thing I could say is something my parents taught me about growing up. It's love God and love people. The thing that brings me and Marlene the most joy is that today thousands of people got to see us praise God, thank God, and celebrate God. Because without Him, we wouldn't be here. Without God, we wouldn't have met him. Without God, we wouldn't have gotten here. Without God, to be honest, for somebody to move, quit their job in South Korea during COVID, come here to see if it would work, and now we're here, is a testimony to God's goodness. Personally, for me, it's a miracle not just for myself, but for our family that they get to see this day. If you know any story about us, they told my parents that they wouldn't have kids. So for five years, they tried. And eventually, they had me. And I am their, their big miracle now. And something that's so important about serving God that none of you here know. So I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I don't know if my dad was going to put it in his speech, but it'll, it'll be in mind. Sorry, Dad. My father spent years, and I mean years, going and doing crusades by himself in a place called Latvia. He would go, hold crusades, pray for the sick, help the needy, minister to people, time after time again. And if you're a parent here, it matters the seeds that you sow. Because I'm marrying a girl from Latvia. Wow. I also want to mention that Family is everything. And to Kayanjas, family doesn't just mean Kayanjas, so there was Gailas's, or even Ruto's. Family is every Ugandan, every Kenyan, every person in the nation. Because without loving people, you can't love God. And today, so if there is anything that you can take away from me, it's that we are here because of sacrifice and love. <clears throat> and my father taught me something very important while I was growing up. He taught me that sacrifice and love are some of the biggest gifts Jesus gave me. Today is a wedding for some who are watching. For me and Mar, it's the beginning of a long journey in our calling to serve and love others. There is a video circulating social media from 77 Days Dad. And uh, I don't think you saw it, but I did. It was on a Thursday night. I was filming content that you wanted to send to TBN on, on the camera. And you had a group of men on the stage. And you looked at them. And then you looked over at me. And you said, Robert, if you ever choose a woman less honorable than your mother, I am a pastor, but I might have to repent. The bar of women in my household is extremely high because of my mother. And when I 
stay extremely high. A lot of people might measure themselves to her and pay in comparison to even a fraction of what she's done. If you knew the last three months, we don't have time to go through it, but I'll tell you this. I have a wedding plan. And the person who has planned and labored with our entire family for three months with my mother. I finally told my mom something in the car on the way to church. My entire life, up until the moment I proposed, one woman prayed for me. I always knew there was one woman on this earth who would pray for me, who would love me, who would cover me with her grace, who would teach me, who would fight for her children. That was my mom. Thank you. 